one step at a time. Evo 2023 was an actual blast, and I'll give you guys both, you know, the competitor side and the actual attendee side and kind of how it felt to be on both of those. So I went last year in 2022, but for those that remember in 2022, Multiverses just dropped. As a creator, I was doing Multiverses content, so I was like, oh, I want to go to Evo so bad uh, for Multiverses. And this is just for some quick context, because uh, this time it was a very different experience than it was the first time. The first time I went to Evo, uh, again, 2022 Multiverses, I went there to compete for Multiverse and kind of experience the whole EVO experience in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it was an absolute blast even that time. But Multiverse, I, and I didn't know this at the time, but Multiverse's at EVO 2022 was kind of a side event because uh, I didn't realize that they had like main events, the main lineup for the games, uh, Street Fighter, you know, Mortal Kombat, Guilty Gear, Tekken, stuff like that. I, I knew they were going on, but I thought Multiverses, again, at the time was part of the main event. So I thought that's, oh, this is how it all works. I was very wrong. Uh, Multiverses competing was still a blast. You know, they had their tournament, you do your pulls and, you know, if you win or lose, you keep going, depending on your bracket and so on. And even last year we had like, you know, the, the arts vendors, you can go around and shop and see all the fun art. Uh, they had a couple booths last year. I think this year was uh, more of a different experience for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I was competing in AAA titles like Street Fighter or Guilty Gear. And this year might be an exception for future Evos because this year, uh, the games that are coming out soon uh, you know, soon is like Mortal Kombat 1, we're te Tekken 8, we're getting, we're getting Project L. And the reason why that's kind of an exception or kind of a big deal for this year is because this year they had those booths for you to play those games at EVO. So I waited in line and I physically played uh, Mortal Kombat 1, Project L, Tekken 8. And I'm not sure what's going to you know, be happening next year because by that time we'll have Mortal Kombat 1, we might have Tekken 8, we might have Project L. So, so at that point in time, you know, we're definitely not getting a Street Fighter 7 or a Mortal Kombat 2 or anything like that. Big title, AAA title wise. So I wonder what's going to be there to play exclusively. And so that's why I said like this year might have been a small exception in that aspect because I was able to play exclusive games that aren't out yet, whereas next year they will probably be out. So I wonder what exclusive gameplay boosts are gonna have next year. So that might be a reason why this year was just so much better. I had such a blast, first of all, competing, and then of course playing those exclusive gameplay at the, at the, the boost they had for those games. Again, Mortal Kombat 1, Tekken 8, Project L. And I didn't know this last year, but there's a whole area you can just go and casually play. They just have tables with PS4s, PS5s, and monitors for you just to plug in and play with your friends to casually play. And now if you're competing, you might use that to warm up. And that was super nice because we all know how much warming up can actually help you in anything, let alone esports. And so for me as a competitor, to be able to warm up was actually really cool. And then there was a Chipotle kind of stand, sponsored stand that was running Street Fighter 6 tournaments and I was like oh that's so cool I'm competing in Street Fighter 6 this year I can, I can I can warm up casually sure in these casual areas but to be able to compete in a small sponsored tournament before my actual pools so I did I entered and actually ended up winning one of the Chipotle sponsored tournaments for Street Fighter 6 so that was actually before my actual evil pools for Street Fighter 6 so I'm not gonna lie to you I felt really good I was warmed up I already won a small tournament so I was like oh yeah this is gonna go great and then yeah as a competitor it was actually really cool because I because again I'm going off my experience of the previous year playing multiverses and apparently this is normal which I think is way better than what multiverses was doing uh no shade to multiverses I know they'll, they'll probably hopefully pick it up when they come back in 2024 but uh the the mainline title is the mainline evo experience as a competitor when you sit down they have headphones for you to like throw on because the headphones are a big deal because for a lot of players because you can kind of like zone out you can kind of you know close off the outside world and just really focus on your fight in the moment. And that's a big deal because it cut, you know, less distractions, people screaming, you know, whatever it may be. As long as you have the Start GG, you know, tab on your phone, it makes it super easy to find your table, what time you gotta be there and so on. So that was actually super easy. But anyway, sitting down, being able to, you know, throw my headphones on and compete, that was really cool. I, again, I was able to close off the outside world and just compete. I won my first match. That was awesome. Again, I felt super good for my previous winning of the Chipotle tournament. Uh, I, I went on to lose my second round against an awesome Luke who absolutely destroyed me. Well deserved. He was a great player. And then I win, and then I win, and then I barely lost. What a great match. So I went 3-2 and two overall. I think I got like top 2,000 out of 7,000 competitors. So top 30%. I'll take it for my second Evo ever. Uh, so as a 
competitor, it was it was actually a blast. I met a lot of people there that were, you know, that was like the first Evo ever. And coming off of my second Evo ever, I understood how they might be feeling, you know, because the nerves get to you a lot of time as a competitor. You can get really nervous and those can absolutely make or break a match. So for anybody wanting to go to Evo 2024 or in the future and you're competing, definitely expect that i mean for personally on my again this is my personal experience this is my second time so already my nerves are kind of gone but then being able to warm up because last year i wasn't able to warm up for multiverses so my first game was you know 48 hours cold i was like well this is my first match and i ended up losing that which kind of sucked but being able to warm up is super useful and, and again my personal experience i was able to use that chipotle tournament as a and as another form of a warm-up and then i felt great because i went on to win it uh, so going in my first mat, my, my first brackets, my first matches in that bracket, I was you know I was already fired up, I was ready to go. Um, I had no nerves by that point. But your first time, nerves can definitely get to you. So if you're going to be going to Evo for the first time in the near future, next year, the year after that, or whatever it may be, just know that nerves are going to be there. And I recommend looking up and watching some you know how to get rid of nerves for tournaments videos. They can help you know you know breathing techniques, whatever you may need. But so to cut it short and sweet and simple to the point for the competitor side, it was a blast. I competed in Street Fighter 6 and Guilty Gear Strive. So if you do go, I do recommend competing in at least two games for a couple of reasons. Mainly just so you have more than just one event to look forward to. I'm not going to lie to you. I got wrecked in Guilty Gear. I had a blast. I actually came in close one time, but I got wrecked in Guilty Gear gear and even though i got wrecked it was still a blast and i had something else to look forward to which was street fighter 6 so that way i wasn't completely bummed out from you know going all the way to vegas and trying to compete and then you know going 0 and 2 and then just going home like well i got wrecked so if you can i recommend competing in at least two maybe three you know slots so that we have something else to look forward to that's just my recommendation there's a lot of players that just go super hard on one game and you can totally do that too and then evo as a you know just an attendee was also just an awesome time. I mean, honestly, even after I lost my first day, the Friday brackets, going on to Saturday, I mean, there's all the arts to go see. The, I, again, I can go casually play. I even competed in the Chipotle tournament one more time just to see and have fun with that. That's when I played Mortal Kombat, Tekken A, Project L. That's also when you can watch the big, you know, final fights over on the big events, the big stages, the big TVs, sit down, find a chair, and just, you know, kind of just watch the fights, and they are just so freaking awesome. The, the crowd was super hyped up. Everyone was screaming it was it was an actual blast just watching the fights like i'll tell you this if you enjoy fighting games even a little bit evo it would be an absolute blast i took a buddy there and he's you know he's okay at fighting games he plays them here and there but even he said you know i don't play fighting games this often i'm not a fighting game creator or whatever it may be but i had an absolute blast i don't think people realize in fact i don't think a lot of the gaming community realizes how big the fighting game community the fgc is growing with all these new titles and a lot of them being very beginner friendly and new player friendly they're bringing in a lot of new players and personally as part of the fgc i love to see i love to see all the new players a lot of people in my comments even on all my videos they're saying you know i'm brand new to street fighter or this is my first mortal Kombat ever or, i love your content because i'm a new fighting game player and i love seeing that because i mean whether you're new or you're a complete vet the fgc is growing in fact this year evo broke record with that street fighter 6 had the most attendees the most competitors ever at evo nevada named august 6th evo day that's huge if you do go to vegas and you do want to attend evo i would recommend a couple things bring some water they give you a water bottle when you get there but bring some water always have water on you if you can like i did bring a cooler if you drive there because man the food there is expensive as ish and eating out for breakfast lunch and dinner that's going to cost you but also while you're there uh for those that don't know evo is actually held at the mandalay bay event center so it's honestly way more convenient to stay at the Mandalay Bay. It's a bit more pricey, but all you do is go down the elevator. You walk all the way to the event center because it is kind of a walk. It's like a 15 minute walk. You get there, but you're inside the entire time. You fill the AC, you're not outside. I stayed at the Excalibur this past year um, or this year, 2023, excuse me. And it was kind of a short walk to the tram that takes you to the Mandalay Bay, but that was still an extra, you know, 10 minute walk. So using the tram for me to get to my hotel room all the way to the Mandalay Bay, that took me almost a half hour, if not a half hour. So you had to plan for that. So I'm not gonna lie, from personal experience, if you have the extra funds, I recommend staying at the Mandalay Bay if possible. Plus that way you don't have to take any Ubers or anything like that. Dude, again, waste more money. If you're trying to buy food, trying to get to Ubers. Like if you were to stay at a Hampton Inn, like a mile away you might save money but now you're spending the money on the food and the ubers and that extra money you spend could have just been spent you know 
paying for the Mandalay Bay room. Plus the Mandalay Bay's got an awesome pool. But now we're getting into the Vegas talk and Vegas is okay, I, I don't mind Vegas, but but the actual event Evo itself this year, as, again, this is my second time going, was just freaking awesome. I met, I met so many cool people there. Like some of the FGC is pretty toxic, but for the most part, you meet some really cool people that just love fighting games. And we all love fighting games and we all have that in common. So it just makes it a bit easier to you make friends with strangers and have a good time. You know, you fist bump GGs after every single fight. Not only did I meet a lot of cool new people, but I also met other YouTubers like Uncaged Games and Caboose. Great guys and had an awesome quick conversation. So if you're watching this Uncaged or Caboose, nice to meet you, man. Thanks for the quick talk and thanks for the inspiration as always. Now that I've gone twice to EVO, one for a smaller event, Multiverses, and then this year for the mainline titles, would I recommend going to EVO? Absolutely. Again, even if you've gone before, you're gonna keep going. If you've never gone, you, you, you're kind of thinking about it and you're watching this video, oh, this is his experience. How was it? I'll tell you right now, it's amazing. Even if you go just as an attendee and you like, you, you wanna go one time as an attendee to kind of get a feel for the place and get the nerves out, that might be a good idea. I recommend competing. It's like 10 extra bucks to compete per game. So you might as well spend an extra, an extra 10 bucks and just compete to have fun with it and see how you feel, get the nerves out at that point. Uh, but if you're gonna go just as an attendee, even at that point, the art vendors there are awesome. You're gonna meet a lot of cool people. The cosplay there is awesome. Depending on what booths are there, you might be able to play exclusive games and to watch the finals is just a blast. And then again, as a competitor, it makes it even that much more fun because you're enjoying the whole event while looking forward to your brackets at you know 5 p.m., 6 p.m., whatever it may be, and just go and see what happens. See how far you could get, you know? Personally, I wish I would have gone to EVO, you know, so some years sooner. I only decided to go as I started to get more and more into fighting games. But yeah, I'm definitely going to EVO every year from now on, especially as a fighting game creator. I gotta go. I have a blast anyways. It's so much fun. So even if you're not a content creator and you like fighting games even a little bit, I definitely recommend it. It's just a blast. Bring a friend, have fun at the event, have fun in Vegas. You might hear some people say, no, EVO sucks. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the probably people that got wrecked, they went 0-2. They got super salty about it. Didn't enjoy the event for that reason. Got super annoyed at the dumbest things and just left. Overall, even if you go 0-2 as a competitor, you still have the entire event to enjoy and you're in Vegas. Go play blackjack, win a few bucks, whatever. If you've been to EVO before, especially this past year, 2023, let me know your thoughts down below. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Did you like it? What did you enjoy most about it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.